Hi everyone, this is Jerry Hubble. I'm the Vice President of Engineering for Explore Scientific. I'm here today to help you to connect your IXOS 100 uh, to your uh, computer via the ASCOM driver and use third-party apps uh, in wireless mode. Uh, there are two types of connections that you can do with the IXOS 100. One is the wireless mode, which is the default configuration from the factory for the Explore Stars app, which uses a wireless mode. And then the other is to use a serial port hard cable from the IXOS 100 USB port into your computer. And uh, we won't be talking about that configuration today. We're going to be talking about the wireless setup for the ASCOM driver so you can easily uh, use a third party app through the ASCOM driver. So the first thing that you uh, need to do is, uh, if you haven't done it, is go to the uh, ASCOM standards website, uh, ASCOM-standards.org, and it'll pop up this uh, their main page, and then over on the right hand side you'll see the download link, which will click that. And that'll take you to um, the GitHub repository for the platform. So you're welcome to read through uh, this information here. Uh, but where you want to go is to the bottom of that page, and there's the ASCOM Platform 64. That's the version 6.4, and it's an executable to run on your Windows PC. Now remember, ASCOM only runs on Windows devices, although uh, there are new new uh, system coming out um, that will allow you to run the ASCOM on any platform so remember that. After you download the platform what you want to do is go down here to the uh, ASCOM platform folder and then look for the ASCOM diagnostics program and it'll ask you permission to run it. And what you're going to do is basically hit this Run Diagnostics button right here, and it'll take about probably 10 minutes to run. And it's going to go through and test every object and every program that's in the platform to make sure everything's been installed correctly. Uh, so you should should be able to complete that correctly. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the Explore Scientific website and you'll go to the mounts and more PMC8 mounts and you'll come up to this main page that describes our mounts and what you want to do is go to the Explore Stars app and NASCOM downloads. You may have come here before to download the Explore Stars app. It also has our other programs on it uh, including our ASCOM driver and other other programs for the Indy uh, Linux platform, Indy driver. So you'll come here and you'll click and you have a choice of downloading the 32-bit ASCOM driver for the PMC8 or the 3264-bit any CPU driver, which I would suggest you do. This will support both 32-bit and 64-bit uh, programs, but if but if you're uh, want to stick with the 30, if you're on Windows 7, and you got 32-bit applications you want to probably download the 32-bit driver so you'll sit here you'll click on this and it'll pop up a screen you can run that and it'll sit there for a minute and uh, check for security problems and then it'll come up with this window and you'll just go more information and then run anyway. Uh, and it should pop up the ASCOM setup installation after it asks your permission, of course. So I'm going to say yes. Uh, and so here's the installation program, the setup. And I'm just going to tell you the version number and hit next and then you'll accept that license agreement basically free to use hit next uh, you may or may not be interested in looking at the source code it's in, it's included in the in the installation so I'm going to just uncheck that 
typically no, you're not interested in that but if you are you can go ahead and check it and then we're going to go ahead and install and it'll overwrite or it'll remove the previous version and then it'll install the new version so you'll see it's that's what it'll do here and then it will install the finished version and then if you're interested you can look at you can leave this checked and look at the programmer's reference manual um, otherwise and that's available on our website for download actually it's available down here at the bottom the latest version of the reference manual is available here for you if you want to if you want to look alright once you've installed the driver then it should be available now for us to test so the way you do that is you go back here to your uh, start menu go back to the uh, ASCOM platform and scroll down here near the bottom where it has these path scope dome hub okay so I've got a link to on my desktop here so I'm going to start that up so when you start it you can click on that um, it'll pop it up that's what the dome scope dome hub uh, looks like and this is just a basic virtual hand controller for the mount and the first thing you're going to do is try is you're going to go to setup and you're going to go choose scope which will give you a list of all the drivers you have available and so uh, what you're going to look for is this one right here ESPMC8 telescope you'll click on that in the drop down and then you'll go to, and it'll ask you to change it, change the properties. So you're going to hit properties. And at this point, you'll go in and change everything uh, the way you want it. And uh, currently, it's, it's defaulted to the G11. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the 100 mount. Uh, one thing to note is if you look at the bottom to make sure you have the correct version you'll see it down here at the bottom in the green text it'll say 2019-0107 that's the current uh, one that's uh, on this on and it's June 11, uh, June 17, 2019 today so that's the current one that's available in the future you'll see new ones available and it will have a different date uh, on it uh, so we're worried about the IXOS 100 we want to make so you can see it's enable Wi-Fi TCP IP right here that's what you want to use um, got the mount selected and then you're gonna you're gonna make this change so the default is the wireless module that's in the the XOS 2 and the G11 but the Exos 100, IXOS 100 has a different wireless module and you'll drop this down and select it. It's called the ESP W Room 02. And you'll see this note here to help to remind you to do that also. So you'll select that, then you'll select your site data. And this defaults to the Explore Scientific Headquarters. Uh, longitude and Latitude Elevation and Information. The telescope information is optional. You can just leave that the way it is. Some dry, some programs in the that connect to the driver, some third-party programs use that information. So if you have a program like that, then you'll go ahead and update that to whatever scope that you're going to connect to. You've got a pulse guiding tab, uh, which is for auto guiding. Um, we won't get into that today, but these are configuration values for that. And then you'll also have uh, another con in miscellaneous. You have a, another configuration item which we won't get into today. But there's a there's a uh, knowledge base article on the rate offset uh, value, how that's used. All right. So we want to make sure that since we're interested in connecting to the IXOS 100 through the wireless connection, we need to make sure this is all as it's shown here. Uh, so let's hit OK. Uh, hit OK there. Now, so we've we've set up the scope. It should show Explore Scientific PMC8 in your on the setup window here. 
above the setup button. And then I typically set this to motion, show the motion controls, which are the hand control. And then uh, you can set it to do auto track. So as soon as it starts up, it'll track automatically. But we have that unchecked. So I'm going to hit OK. So now um, the next thing you have to do, since it's wireless, and you're familiar with this with the uh, Explore Stars, is you have to go to your network connection. Right now, my network connection is on my home network. So you can see here, there's a PMC8 that work right there. So I'm going to select that and hit Connect. And that'll take a few seconds. And typically, it won't update this. What I do is I click on the window and then go back here and make sure it's the one selected. Mm, come on. Oh, there it goes. So you can see it comes up and says no internet secure. That's correct. That's what it should show, just like it's shown here. First, you need to go to the ESPMC8groups.io forum under the main files section and download Chris Moses PMC8 Configuration Manager. The file name is PMC8 Configuration Manager dot zip. Once you have downloaded and installed the PMC8 Configuration Manager, then you want to go to the Basic tab and hit Find Current Connection and then hit the Do It button. Next, you want to connect via wireless ASCOM TCP by hitting the Do It button. Finally, you will see the current Wi-Fi network reestablish to your PMC8 network and also that the connection method will be green TCP. Alright, so now let's go back to the um, ASCOM Poth Hub. Hub. Hit Connect Scope and you'll see the green light on your IXOS 100 come on and then you'll also see the data being shown here on the on the handset on the POTH handset. Uh, you'll see that the RA and the outline local sidereal time are ticking along because you're not tracking. Uh, so the next thing you'll do is connect it with your third party app. So let's start up cart to seal not a lot of overhead but it works great um, so what you'll do when you configure any third-party app like cart to seal here uh, I'm going to go through and and what you do you'll have a driver selection window for your app and what you want to do is come here select and you'll see the path hub just like you see all the other drivers here you'll see the path hub uh, because the driver, the PMC8 driver is connected to the POTH and then we're going to connect the client to the POTH as a dispatcher. And what the POTH allows you to do is to, pro is to connect to the mount through with three or four or however many apps that you want to. So you'll hit OK and then you'll see the POTH telescope up here and then you'll just connect. Uh, you can see that it's connected here. So at that point um, You'll see, like on Cart to Seal, it's pointed to the North Celestial Pole is where the default location is. It's deck 90, and it's pointing to north, dead north on the northern hemisphere. So you'll go to Telescope on the Cart to Seal. You can do Track Telescope, and it will um, go to the North Star. Let me go to the uh, Equatorial Configuration. It'll show you. So you'll see here that it is near Polaris which is right here that's Polaris so that's it that's how you connect uh, through the wireless connection and uh, from then on now you can track and uh, slew your mounts Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be updating videos and have new videos available uh, before too long. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.